Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Um, starting from this video, we will actually touch the architecture. Uh, not only use Spring Security, we will also touch the source code of uh, Spring Security. And uh, the first one I'm gonna introduce is the delegating filter proxy. Um, this uh, first, this class is actually a filter. And uh, interestingly, it's not part of a Spring Security folder. It's uh, inside the Spring uh, MVC that uh, project. And, uh, but it is the entry point to our Spring Security. So why do we need that? what kind of tasks this delegating field proxy is doing. Uh, the first video, which is this video, I will show you using a very simple example, what's the tasks which delegating field proxy do. And the next video, I will show you uh, in the real source code, okay, in uh, show you the source code about a delegating field proxy used inside the Spring Security. So now, let me show you an example here. Uh, this example is a very simple Spring MVC, okay, example. And it's already, I already run it and it works, okay? So let me go through the code with you so you know what I'm doing, okay? So here, uh, just a very simple uh, Spring MVC project. You can see I have a MVC. I just had another, this is a Java X server API because later on we will add the filter, okay? And other things is very uh, fundamental, like uh, I choose using XML version uh, doesn't matter, okay? You can use in a Java config, it's still the same thing, okay? This is XML version to do configuration. And uh, the Spring MVC project have a component scan and uh, annotation driven view resolver to find a GSP, okay? And I have a simple welcome controller just to uh, display that welcome GSP file, okay? So all the things is uh, if you know Spring MVC, it's gonna be easier for you. It's, you should be able to understand very clearly. So when I deploy, we have uh, this uh, page being displayed, right? Which is a welcome page, right? No, no doubt on this part. Now, now suppose in this Spring MVC project, you want to add the authentication feature. Okay, so probably we can do is what we can have a filter. Uh, that's one way. Okay, just because I'm trying to uh, demonstrate the delegating prox delegating filter proxy. So here I choose using the filter way. So now I have filter. Now suppose we create a fake authentication filter. Okay. And here we will implement the filter and make sure you import the right package, okay? Because they have so many filter. Here we import the Java X server data filter. So inside here, we can override this do filter method. So here I will just have a fake, okay? We don't really do the task, okay? Like uh, authentication. Okay, then we have to using filter chain do filter, servlet request and a servlet response like this way, okay? So when we write this piece of code, will it work? Will it work? It doesn't work because in Java uh, web, when we're using filter, no matter we are using XML or no matter we are using Java class as a config configuration files, we have to register filter, right? In order to, um, for Tomcat to recognize this is a filter because the filter, the instance of uh, the creation and uh, the life cycle of filters, um, of filter is managed by the Tomcat. And uh, if we just add a field here without do any configuration, when I restart or redeploy the project, 
our Tomcat cannot find this uh, filter. Right. Uh, so now you want to see anything being printed in our output. Okay, here is our output. And I will make a refresh. It's a display correctly, but uh, in our console, there's uh, no authentication this one, right? So because we didn't config, now we can config it. For config, we can have a filter, first using filter, filter name, authentication filter, okay? And uh, we have to have a filter class, which is uh, uh, miss, oh, sorry, dot filter dot authentication filter. Now we will have a filter mapping. Mapping authentication filter UI pattern, we are using all. Okay, now what we will do is redeploy. And the things we register here and our Tomcat will deploy our project using uh, web.xml, which is a deployment descriptor, right? So it will find this uh, authentication filter we wrote and then it will uh, manage the life cycle of authentication filter for us, right? So now when I re uh, refresh this page, successful and we see we are able to see authentication filter okay uh, now I have a problem I, I have another question for you okay because when we do the authentication we may need to call the service method right service we are called the repository we call repository we are uh, do the database operation and uh, which is a query the user for us suppose here we have a fake query, fake service okay uh, suppose because this is a demo purpose okay so I don't want to implement the real one suppose we have a user service and uh, here we have a service okay now, uh, public, I just using void, okay? Uh, find user. Suppose you, we do something, okay? And this is a fake, okay? I don't want to spend time on this one. Just to give you an idea, find user, okay? And this is a service. And in our authentication, which is this authentication uh, filter, we will need to uh, use the user service and to find to compare if the uh, username password which user input match the database right do, do you understand me right so here we can do is uh, since i already have user service then and we are using a spring project then spring we are manage the life cycle of user service for us we can Auto wire, right? Then we can do, yes, uh, that's what I want to do, right? Which is here user service dot find a user. And uh, in real uh, scenario, it will return a user, then you compare with the request parameter in this uh, HTTP server request, right? That's what eventually we want to do. But now let's run until this step see what's going to happen. Uh, interesting why the service is uh, this color. Mm -mm 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 now it, now it's fine. Uh, now it's good. Let me redeploy, let me redeploy it again, okay. Okay, now, now, dun, dun, dun. you will see non point exception where is in line 17. And I think you guys already predicted, right? Which is this one, which is a user service here is a none. Why? Because who actually initialized this authentication filter for us? It's who? It's the Tomcat, right? And now who manages the 
instance of a service is a Spring container. And uh, when, when Tomcat initialize or instantiate the authentication filter for us, inside a Tomcat, does he, does Tomcat contains an instance of user service? No, because user service is uh, uh, managed by Spring. And a filter, authentication filter, is managed by Tomcat. So if in a regular filter, we want to use the Spring feature, we cannot, right? We cannot use the Spring feature. And that's a problem because when we're using Spring security, we definitely going to use Spring, other Spring uh, components. And uh, if we use the plan filter inside the uh, Spring security, then we cannot use uh, Spring like uh, here is auto wide uh, feature in uh, provided by Spring, right? So that's uh, a gap between Java web technology and uh, Spring technologies. Do you understand now? Because uh, field authentication filter is managed by Tomcat and uh, all other like controller service repository, those instances are managed by Spring. So there is a gap between Tomcat and Spring. Uh, or, or we can say Java web technologies filter and Spring, okay? And in our authentication filter, we definitely need to use uh, like uh, some service provided by Spring, right? Otherwise, so we have to write from scratch, okay? So then that comes with the need of delegating filter proxy, okay? So what is a delegating filter proxy do? So let me show you inside the web.xmfl. Here, we are no longer using the filter. What we are do is we are using all spring framework dot web dot filter dot delegating filter proxy okay we just configure like this way and uh, in the delegating uh, delegating filter proxy it will looking for a target name and here we do like this way okay so uh, this is a filter but uh, without configuration inside the XML file. Tomcat does not recognize, right? So, and we also want to using Spring feature. So the need of delegating proxy is a kind of bridge between Java web, between the Java web technologies and the Spring managed beings. Okay, so here, uh, I using delegated, uh, delegating field proxy here, and then I change this one to be a component. And as we know, component is an, an annotation inside a Spring framework. So Spring will manage the lifecycle of authentication field for us. And uh, since it's managed by Spring, it can find the user service, right? And uh, since we want this filter to be invoked on every request comes and who is doing that is a part of sorry, is a part of a delegating filter proxy okay so let me show you uh, what's gonna happen after I redeploy previously after we do it gonna have a non-point exception right now we will redeploy it okay and now we go here First, it's success, and let's go to the console. Console, you will see authentication. Authentication, which means our filter is being invoked, right? And now, find the user. This method is also being invoked. Okay, you, you got, got that idea? Because now, our authentication filter is not registered. Can you see? It's not registered. But uh, this filter is still being invoked. And this authentication filter now is a Spring Managed Bean. So this delegating filter is a bridge or link between 
a link and a delegate a request to the Spring Managed Filter. Okay, so now let's take a look at our uh, slides for summary. Okay. Uh, here have some knowledge which are not part of uh, the demo. Okay. First, delegating filter proxy is the entry port of uh, Spring Security because in Spring Security, um, it not only has uh, one filter, it has uh, many filters to do different tasks. And uh, all of them are part of uh, a standard serverless filter because those filters has to use Spring feature. So we cannot register inside the web.xml or using Java classes. And uh, then how it's being managed? Where we are using delegating filter proxy, this one. And this filter name is different from our demo because this is the default name used in Spring Security, okay? And uh, this delegating filter proxy is a standard serverlet filter. Uh, next demo, I will show you the, uh, the source code of this one. And does not actually do authentication and authorization task in Spring Security. It's just a link or bridge to delegate the request to a Spring Manager bin that implements filter interface, which one example is like this one. He will delegate a request to a Spring Manager bin that implements the filter interface, okay, which is like our demo. So authentication filter. First, it's a implement filter interface, right? But uh, this uh, authentication filter, the life cycle is uh, no longer managed by Tomcat. It's managed by Spring now. So that's why they say Spring Managed Bing that implements filter interface, which is uh, exactly ex this one doing authentication filter. Okay, so uh, in this demo, uh, I just uh, show you the behavior of uh, delegating filter proxy did for us. Okay, uh, and the uh, next demo, I will show you in Spring Security the source code and uh, lead you to see uh, the actual implementation in delegating filter proxy. Okay, uh, thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.